First reading, a reading from the book of Judges, chapter 9, verses 6 to 15. Then all the lords of Shechem and all Beth Milo came together, and they went and made Abimelech king by the oak of the pillar at Shechem. When it was told to Jotham, he went and stood on the top of Mount Gerizim and cried aloud and said to them, Listen to me you lords of Shechem, so that God may listen to you. The trees once went out to anoint a king over themselves. So they said to the olive tree, Reign over us. The olive tree answered them, Shall I stop producing my rich oil, by which gods and mortals are honoured, and go to sway over the trees? Then the tree said to the fig tree, You come and reign over us. But the fig tree answered them, Shall I stop producing my sweetness and my delicious fruit and go to sway over the trees? Then the tree said to the vine, You come and reign over us. But the vine said to them, Shall I stop producing my wine that cheers gods and mortals and go to sway over the trees? So all the trees said to the bramble, you come and reign over us. And the bramble said to the trees, If in good faith you are anointing me king over you, then come and take refuge in my shade. But if not, let fire come out of the bramble and devour the cedars of Lebanon. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. The Saving Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children, and my dear young people, today, Wednesday, 23rd of August, 2023, we are in the 20th week 
of the ordinary time of the liturgy. The Gospel is from Matthew chapter 20 verses 1 to 16. It is about the workers in the vineyard of the Lord. The owner of the vineyard is the Lord himself. Now he is calling all of us to work. And he goes in the morning at regular hours and then he goes back and he goes back. He calls everyone at different hours of the day. And some are already in their vineyard working for hours and hours when others are called in. But God promises to each and every one of them one, one denarii. So that is the wage is equal. Even to those who have come early in the morning, working during the hard and the, the scorching sun of the day until the evening. And those who have come at the 11th hour, last moment, but they are still going to get the same amount. Now here is a problem now. The, those who have come earlier and they are murmuring against. They are criticizing the Lord. Lord, how is that? You are paying the same amount that you are giving to the one who came at the last hour. And where is justice? And where is justice? God's answer is very clear. Now, God is the one who went in search of you at different hours of the day. You were there early in the morning. He called you for a wage. You were there and during the day, you are called for the same wage. God is just. God is just to everyone. He is just to the first comers. He is just to the second comers. And he is just to the, the last moment comers. For God, everyone is now called. What is more important is that everyone has been searched for by God himself. He has called everyone to work. He has been just to everyone. He is not unjust. Therefore, we have to learn when God is just towards us, we cannot be unjust, unmerciful, arrogant, and we cannot be um, so to say that to be uh, against our brother and sister when it comes to justice discharged by God himself for our salvation and for the salvation of others equally in his justice and in his mercy.